So this is the Verdant Tinkerer again. Um, figured I'd talk about the quail. I'm keeping a little bit right now. Let's stem in there. Um, the primary reason I'm keeping quail is because I'm on a small piece of property and where I live they don't allow chickens. Um, they can be noisy, a little disruptive if they're not managed properly. While quail, as you can see, are pretty quiet and can be kept in a fairly small cage. Um, the target is one bird per square foot, but they're perfectly happy. As you can see, they like staying close together, so you can get down to like one bird per three quarter or half square foot. They're very quiet. Um, they don't eat a lot of food. Um, it was really hard for me to, in my research, to figure out how much they eat, but they eat on average about a quarter cup of food per bird per day. They need a higher protein content because they're considered a game bird, so your regular chicken feed doesn't typically work. Um, they don't drink a lot. It's As you can see here, I have this hopper that I made so they can, oh, sorry. So they can get multiple days worth of food without me having to come out here every day. Um, I check on them every day, but it makes things easier. And is there waterer, which I have in a bucket so they can have several days worth of water. You know, in the heat I actually lost a bird, so it helps to make sure that they don't run out. And it also takes up less space in the cage. Uh, benefits of quail, they start laying at about four to six weeks of age whereas a chicken anywhere from five to six months um, this is the most current version of the cage I had a little box over there because um, when we lost some birds before I now have seven in here which is a little packed so I added that little apartment on the end to give them a little extra space as you can see somebody's hanging out in there and it also is has you know solid sides whereas the front and bottom here are mesh so it'll help them keep warm in the winter um, this is what the original cage looked like it's got the door it's about 40 inches wide by 16 inches deep and just over a foot tall as you can see the floor is slanted that helps the the eggs roll to the front so they're easier to collect and um, less likely to get pooped on or cracked by the birds. This hole here is just where the hopper was over there. I had to cut a hole in so the birds could access it. Um, this over here was the initial cage that I started with. It's upside down right now. It had a solid roof and was originally like this. The idea being if I could put them on the ground and I could tractor them or basically move the cage every day to a different section of grass, they'd be able to forage a little bit, eat any bugs on the ground. But I quickly realized on a small piece of property, the dozen birds in there, that's a, a two by four tractor, they poop a lot just one day in a single area, which was over by the water tanks, there was so much poop, the flies were uncontrollable. So I immediately had to get them set up in a mobile, or in a permanent location with basically a poop trap on the bottom. I just layer it with shredded paper from work to absorb the moisture, keep the scent and the flies down. And then, you know, occasionally I'll put it over in the compost pile in the corner. But, um, yeah, quail lay, you know, pretty much every day. They're molting right now. You might be able to see some of them have little patches and there's lots of feathers on the bottom of the cage. But normally they'll lay an egg a day. They're much more efficient than chickens at converting feed into eggs or meat if you were breeding your own birds and harvesting them. However, this particular variety is a Codernix quail, which has been bred for a couple thousand years over in Japan, so they're completely domesticated. 
kind of like a, a dog as compared to a wolf, so they don't have any nesting instinct. They'll just walk along and kind of poop out an egg and keep walking. So if you wanted to raise your own, you would need a, a brooder. Um, they won't hatch their own eggs like uh, certain chickens might. Well, uh, I think that's about it for now. Maybe I'll do another follow-up video on the quail again. And uh, let me know what you think. Shoot me some questions or comments. What would you like to see? All right, see you later.